Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 30th, but keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. I have completed all of the May readings, so if you want to find that, there's a playlist. You can find the one for your sign and watch it that. You can watch a rising sign, your Venus sign, your moon sign, whatever. And I did purchase a new camera, which is going to be shipped to me, so you can, that's coming. And so anyway, what do we got? What do we got for a message today? For right around the 30th. Ooh, one didn't come up. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, two didn't come up. Two of Wands and the Queen of Swords reversed. So the Two of Wands is a spur of the moment decision. Uh, Queen of Swords reversed is very brash, um, assertive energy. I feel like somebody's been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. There's been a lack of clarity. There's been some poor counsel. This is, this is a decision that is being made spur of the moment. We have somebody here that may be confused or unsure of what to do. They may be in a, a place where they're not thinking clearly and they're making a spur of the moment decision. So yeah, this is somebody that's not being logical, that is making, I think it's a rash decis decision. So I'm gonna put that back in there. We're gonna we're gonna shuffle. I think yeah. I think there's a rash decision that is being made. Five of cups. Now five of cups is grieving. It's sadness. Somebody is grieving over a loss. There has been a, somebody's made a poor decision, obviously. Now there's, there's some sort of sadness here. I mean, the Five of Cups is sadness. It's not realizing that there's another opportunity. We have somebody here that's grieving. That is a grievance of some sort. Oh. Ooh. This is grieving as well. Okay, this is heartache, heart pain. Um extreme sadness suffering oh my god we have somebody here that may have experienced some sort of separation I don't know if there's heart problems or heart issues or just something that is really painful that is happening okay I can't change that I'm sure there's another reader that could but I can't anyhow uh, hangman hangman is struggling this is a struggle struggling to let go could be dealing with the Pisces could be dealing with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a big struggle. Uh, a new perspective is needed. There's healing that is going to be needed from a painful experience. Uh, this is uh, sacrificing. It is a need to let go, a need to... Uh, and it's going to be a struggle. It is going to be a struggle. Somebody is going to struggle with... Or they are struggling. Well, I think this is what's happening. Okay, this is a need to go within probably to heal from some sort of heartache. Something is happening that is probably painful by the looks of things. It could be a breakup. I feel like we have a separation here. And it, it could be from somebody, that obviously, I mean, separation can be from anybody in your life. It looks like it's pretty painful, whatever it is. This is a loss. This is mourning. It really is mourning a loss. And the hangman is something, it means that you must struggle through this. There's a lesson to be learned here with that hangman card. Ace of Wands. Now the Ace of Wands is a new beginning. It's starting with a clean slate. Everything happens for a reason. 
this is uh, taking action. Somebody's going to be taking action. They have this strong desire to do something. This is this is actually exciting. It's an exciting opportunity for growth. But it comes after pain. It definitely comes after pain. Now I definitely see a grievance here that somebody is going to be struggling with. It does bring growth and new opportunities, but it ain't going to be easy. There could there obviously could be some tears shed, a moment or moments of despair. This is the loss of a friendship or a relationship. Or that three of cups reverse. This is like crying over the loss. So I feel like there is a loss here. Somebody may be trying to punish another person because sometimes I see the hangman as punishment. But this is actually a time of growth, right? It is. And this is a time of growth as well. Somebody is probably going through a spiritual awakening. It may be a painful one. not interested somebody is not interested it's, it's like there is love here there is because we have the two of cups here and the ace of cups here but here we have the three of cups and here we have the three of cups which is i feel like there's been some third party interference or there's been some sort of uh third party situation which has caused a grievance i feel like this grievance is over or it's ending Okay, I think it's ending suddenly with that two of wands. There could be a sudden departure here. We have somebody here that is no longer interested or they're just not interested at all. This is sad. This is somebody that is complacent and doesn't want it anymore. Just doesn't want to be involved anymore. Now we got the Queen of Swords upright. Queen of Swords upright is that new perspective. And we have new perspective here. So a new perspective is going to be gained. There is some sort of truth that is coming out after there has been some lies. Okay, there's been some lies. Could have been illusion or confusion. Okay, but now there's clarity that is coming after a loss. Okay, the loss is first. Okay, unfortunately. Cold hard truth, acceptance of the cold hard truth will be needed. Strength, yes. Strength, courage, confidence, willpower, discipline to let go. This is, that's what the strength card is about. It is about letting go. Somebody is going to need to master their emotions. I feel as though a new approach is going to be taken in the future. Okay, there, a new approach is needed. There's a, there's a need to be open-minded and look at this as a new beginning that comes after a loss. I do believe that there is probably some sort of, I don't know if it's sad news or realization because that Ace of Swords and the Upright could be an epiphany, could be a wake-up call, it could be a realization of the truth. This person isn't interested or something like that. Four of Cups is complacency. It's missing an opportunity. It's ignoring an opportunity. Somebody may be being ignored by an individual that they are hanging on to. They're struggling to release. Or there could be some something happening that is, you know, really... Uh, it's real, okay? This is going, it's almost like, it, I don't need the tower. It feels like it's going to force somebody to let go. And, but it's not going to be easy. I don't think it's going to be easy at all. I, I feel like uh, Ace of Cups. That, that is emotions. That is a flood of emotion. It is a new start in love. We do have a new start in love here. There is a need to let go of some sort of pain and stop 
focusing on that pain. Somebody may be ignoring an opportunity for love because of an individual that has caused them a lot of confusion. There is an offer of love here that is being ignored or missed because somebody is wasting their time. If you think about, we had that Queen of Swords in reverse out first. That Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that is bitter, okay? Somebody that is mean, unfortunately, okay? So it doesn't communicate well, doesn't communicate at all. And it's a male or a female, it doesn't matter what sign it is. We have somebody here that has been wasting their time on an individual that is probably untrustworthy, okay? And so they've been missing an opportunity for love, seriously, because we got it here and we got it here, focusing on something that really uh, hurt them really, really bad. And now there's an exciting opportunity. It could be a new sexual partner here. There could just, it could definitely be a new a sexual partner that leads to love. Okay, this is this is passion. It is growth. It is opportunity. It's opportunity for something that could grow into love. Somebody is probably going to be receiving um, a clarity, some clarity or an epiphany of some sort or truth. They could be receiving some sort of truth about an individual that they have been hanging on to that. Uh, wakes them up. I do believe there is some sort of emotional news that is coming. We have we have uh, a need to let go of fear with a strength card that is let go of fear and just go for it. Somebody is going to be receiving communication from a new opportunity. And I feel like this is uh, something that could make them happy if they could stop wasting their time and hanging on to uh, something that doesn't reciprocate. Anyhow, there is, there is some sort of a flood of emotion here, a new start in love, a new beginning in love. Whoever is, is communicating, is being very truthful, is being very authentic, or is very truthful and authentic, and probably is very um, strong and independent. This is strong and independent, so I wonder if we have a very strong, independent person who is reluctant to uh, open up because of some previous pain. Now, these, this is like the past, okay? There's a lot of heartache there. There's heart pain, okay? Somebody here that has been stabbed right in the heart. So they have been ignoring an opportunity or missing an opportunity for love, wasting their time, sacrificing themselves on an individual. We think about the Queen of Swords in reverse and back at the beginning doesn't communicate or communicates very harshly or is bitter. Anyhow, there is an opportunity for love here with this Two of Cups and this Ace of Cups and this Ace of Cups here. Absolutely, there is an opportunity for emotional fulfillment. But it will require a new perspective and it will require the strength to let go of the fear. Okay? This is a new beginning with these two aces. We do have a new spark. We have a sudden desire. There's a need for courage to have courage. This is a gift from God, so God because that's the hand of God. God is giving somebody a passionate new opportunity for love and it's being missed because of fear or illusion. Or because this person has been hanging on to something that really hurt them. 
hanging on a lot of pain. Somebody who's been crying over the loss, focusing on a loss, when they definitely have another opportunity here. And there's bitterness because the Queen of Swords in reverse is bitterness. And don't get your panties in a bunch if you are the Queen of Swords. Reality. So anyhow, there is a new start in love here. Somebody's going to be receiving an offer. And it's interesting because before I started this reading, I saw the Knight of Cups. Before I even took out the deck that I was going to pick, I, I saw the Knight of Cups twice. So there's an offer of love. We got somebody here that is wanting a relationship. I think it's going to be a very intense uh, search for love or interaction or something like that. I feel like there is an offer of love that is coming or it's right here. It's like right here in front of you and it's been ignored or missed and there's a need to be open-minded and just go for it. I do think that we have somebody here that is going to communicate. They are going to do it. I do think they're going to do it. They're going to, it's like they, they have ignored an opportunity, but now they're going to do it. They're going to follow their heart. They're, it's almost like they're going to open their heart chakra after it's been closed. This does definitely have to do with heart. In finding the courage to open the heart. This is open the heart. I, you know, I don't even know. if Somebody may even get open heart surgery. Somebody may have been ignoring the signs. Wasting time. I mean, I hate to give that message, but... I mean, there could be open heart surgery here. Okay? This is a knife. This is a heart. I'm telling you what, somebody may be getting open heart surgery. I mean, I just have to be honest, and this is going to take healing, okay? There is a healing love here as well. But it will require somebody to be open-minded and let go of their bitterness and their hate and to stop hanging on to what happened them in the past. So if you receive a message... React in love. I would say not to ignore. Don't ignore the signs either. If you have heart issues or whatever, if you have a heart issue and you get any kind of pain, I suggest you go to the doctors or if you're dealing with anybody that does. I'm just being honest here. Anyhow, we have somebody here that has been suffering. They have been suffering. There could also be news of a loss. I mean, I hate to say that. Because the Ace of Cups can be tears. It can be a lot of tears. Okay? But you need to look at this from a new perspective. Because if there is a loss... It leads to a new beginning. Okay, endings always lead to new beginnings. Whatever is happening, there is going to be a need to have strength. Strength is going to be required. This is an, 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 an emotional, well, emotional information is coming. Okay? Good luck. Very emotional. <laughs>